Hello there, it's Sandy Alnock. Welcome to week three of my Advent series for 2021 in which I am making bookmarks. They're all in beautiful rainbow colors using colored pencils. You could easily turn any of these into Bible journaling backgrounds as well. So use them as you desire. There's a PDF in the doobly-doo down below that you could download this week's. Or you could sign up for the Hope for Hunger class in which you get all four weeks all at once if you want them ahead of time and also to help join in with other Bible journalers to raise funds for hungry people. So there's a link to that class down below. So the PDF that I have here is printed on Stonehenge drawing paper because it's my favorite paper to use with my colored pencils. And it's a little heavier, of course, than Bible paper. Well, there's not much that isn't heavier than Bible paper. And I will end up adding it onto a piece of cardstock when I make the final bookmark and trim it all down. I've laid my pencils out in rainbow order so that I could kind of grab from all the warm colors first. So I'm grabbing the reds and the pinks and the oranges and yellows, and then I'll move into the blues and purples. And since the color decisions are kind of made for me that way, and this is going to be random color, I'm not trying to transition from one place to another, this is a really excellent opportunity to just sit and meditate while coloring. And given that it's the week of joy, I just started thinking about the joy of Christmas when I was little and it was all about the presents and what we were getting or was it going to snow and it was somewhat about church because I loved the Christmas carols I loved 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 singing I still love singing I'm still terrible at it but I still love singing and it, it, so I had lots of joy lots of joy when I was a kid as as lots of us do and thinking about the differences between the joy that I feel now and the joy of the coming of Christ and the, the salvation he's brought and and the the weird thoughts that enter my head about how we we prepare for Christmas in this way through Advent. And we're thinking about, you know, being joyful. We're thinking about his love. We're thinking about the peace that he brings. And it's all in preparation for that big day. As if Christmas is the one day we get to feel all these things. You know, hope Love, joy, and peace exist every day. They are here for us every day. And as I was pondering this even more, the Lord was just raising up joy in me over some things that I've been a little scared about. There's some things that I've wanted to do artistically for years, and I haven't gotten to them. And I'm going to be clearing some space in my life and in my calendar and in everything so that I can tackle some of those things that have been planted in me. And I've been feeling nervous about that because it means, you know, cutting out some things to replace them with others. And that's never an easy thing to do. And I don't really know what that's going to look like yet. I, I just know that I kind of want to think about how, how to do that. And the Lord started really planting joy in my heart as I was doing this coloring. I could feel it rising. I could feel the excitement rising because he was giving me small visions of what it would feel like to be accomplished in the ways that I w want to do things. There's certain things that I want to get done. And the feeling at the end of that is going to be so much joy. And I, I've started thinking then about, well, boy, was that the feeling that Jesus was looking forward to when he was going through the passion and, and, he was doing it for the joy set before him. Was, was that the kind of anticipatory joy that he was feeling? And I mean, there was just a lot of thoughts that ran through my mind. It was very, very much a cacophony the way the color is. But it's all good. It's all to the good. Anytime you spend time with the Lord and he speaks to you, it's worthwhile doing. So I would recommend just coloring this, even if you're not going to do anything with it, and just spend some time meditating on joy and see what the Lord brings up for you. Because he could say things that blow your mind that you had no idea that he was going to talk to you about. And this was definitely one of those occasions. And I feel blessed for it. Now, one of the things that I did not mention earlier in these videos, and maybe I'll put it in text in the Hunger for Hope class so that people get that 
earlier in the process is that when I designed these bookmarks, I designed something specifically that you could give to a non-believer. You could give them a gorgeous bookmark that is just filled with beautiful color that they would love. And before you mount it onto a piece of cardstock to put into your bookmark sleeve, write scriptures on the back of that white paper for that person. Write your prayers for them and then glue it down. And what you'll be doing is giving this bookmark to someone who maybe does not yet know Christ, is not open to knowing Christ. And this could be just that thing that is in their hands that they're going to use. They're going to read whatever novels they're reading and they're going to use that bookmark because it's beautiful. And it doesn't have anything uh, on the exterior of it that would be scary to them. Something that they wouldn't want a friend of theirs on the, you know, on the bus or in the office to see that they were using a Christian bookmark. But you know, and the Lord knows, that there's prayers that go into that. So I would recommend not just making these for people who are believers. You could write scriptures on the outside of the back of them for those sorts of folks. But for someone who does not know the Lord, this could be a great opportunity to minister to them and to put some prayer and some scripture in their hands that they don't even know they're holding and ask the Lord to chase that with his Holy Spirit. Once the coloring was done, I trimmed it down, added it onto a layer of black cardstock, and slipped it into a plastic bookmark sleeve so that it would be protected as the recipient ends up using the bookmark. And it gets protected from their fingers and from pages of books. If you're interested in the Hunger for Hope class, please see the link in the doobly-doo for more information or watch video number one where I talk about it a little more extensively. All right. Thank you so much. I will see you again for week four of Advent 2021. Bye-bye.